MJ Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Daybreak Classic is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course, following our featured group. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. What a lovely introduction, and what a love social media back and forth in the lead-up to this match. They have a bone to pick, they have a bee in their bonnet, and they're all going to be settled out on this golf course today. Well, the only thing that really goes against Xander Shoffley is he doesn't win as often as he should. But every attribute in his game is just exceptional. You're talking about one of the best players out on tour. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Yeah, she's looking at one, four, five from the flag. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. And this putt is from Birdie 3 on the scorecard. This one looking really good. Oh, sensational putt that one. A big play at the right time. And their rival is now shaking in their boots. The share of 12th place. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. just slides by yeah that was great wind management there oh five footer it's amazing how two pros hold these this for a birdie birdie run the putt drops and that's back to back birdies and we like it two in a row and as the school card suggests heading up the leaderboard and the third hole here at Old Marina Golf Club uh, looks very familiar, Rich. Par 4, playing 444 yards. Luke, if you're a fan of Pebble Beach Golf Links, you're absolutely going to love this hole. Just 444 yards for the back tees. Driver really isn't necessary as there is out of bounds over on the right-hand side that comes into play in a hurry. Just avoid the bunkers on the left-hand side. Find the fairway. Second shot plays slightly uphill. It actually looks like an infinite edge pool. It's really difficult to judge distance control with that second shot. Still a great hole, one that you'd dearly love to make birdie on. Here's Xander Shoffley. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Wow, that really put some pressure on their playing partner. I think this rivalry just got a bit of a boost with that amazing approach. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Oh, that's beautifully judged. Already had a few birdies today. This for another. These are on rails, looking good. Oh, terrific. What an effort. Gotta say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence. Currently at three up for the event. Here we are at the fourth hole. That drive, heading straight towards the cut stuff. Another birdie opportunity coming up for this player. I tell you what, they're set up quite nicely through the first opening holes. Birdies galore. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Quality shot, that one. Chance to move into first place on the leaderboard.
get the fist pump ready. This looks like it's going in. She's made it for Eagle. And with it, she'll shimmy into first place. Why not take another look at that effort? What an amazing putt from way out. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. He's got some work to do, but he's only one back from his rival. Oh, that's clutch. What a way to save your par. Tough bunker shot. No bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. And after that hole, Justin Thomas by a shot. Here we are at the fifth hole. Nothing quite like an eagle at the last. Almost as good as a shrimp on the bobby. Opting for the 9-iron. Well, that's handy. She should be delighted with that. And Henny, what is she looking at here for this part? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. And that's their fourth booty of the day. And with that, she'll move to six under par. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Time to tee off at the sixth. That is absolutely spot on. And what's in front of them there, Henny? I wouldn't mind hitting the shot, but I wouldn't fancy the walk up here. This is quite uphill. Well, she's killing Xander Shuffley after that. What a brilliant shot into the screen. Oh, good look at Birdie here. And racking up their fifth Birdie of the day. And with that, she'll move to seven under par. Incredible. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? That's incredible. Well, that shot took some serious skill. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And after that hole, he's currently leading JT by a couple of shots. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Wow, that was just right. Time for the second shot here at the seven. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Standing over this one, and it's a very long putt. They'll be soaring high if this goes in. This one for Eagle. Oh, so close. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that's a beauty. Great shot from the bunker. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by three strokes.
We have a par three on this one. Ah, she'll like that. That's inside the birdie range. A birdie putt awaits. That's outstanding. What a pass. And it's time to recap that play. Yeah, let's see this again. Have this one on repeat. And a quick glimpse of the leaderboard, and they're currently first. With Justin Chung. The ninth hole here, though, at Old Marina Golf Club is a strong one. A really tough test to finish the opening nine. A par four, stretching 466 yards. For those who like to work the golf ball from left to right, you're going to have to take a little of a chance by aiming over that hazard on the left-hand side. But if you find the fairway, boy, I tell you what, that's a fantastic feeling because this hole has got so much beauty. I love the second shot. The bunkers on the front but I love how the green runs away on the left-hand side. The design of this hole, especially the green, is absolutely amazing. Nicely done. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. Now, who would have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? And gets that putt of distance to go. Oh, they were just feeling this from the get-go. That is how you do it. Phenomenal stuff. What a putt. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Big chance here. Here she goes again, making putt after putt. The lead just keeps extending. Here we go, Rich. In the lead, late in the championship. Well, after nine, so far, so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of their games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament. Lining up from around 160 yards. Going with the six iron here. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Well, that's well played and sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th. Full of confidence as well with their putter, with their chances. Pretty straightforward four footer coming up here. Well played. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. He's happy, just came off a birdie. Now this is a challenging one. A lengthy putt awaits. Just didn't draw. It's time to check on the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a six stroke advantage. Here we have a long par four. It's gonna take two great shots to get on. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Come on, get down.
of red in red, but a chance to save their par. That is absolutely brilliant. The rarest of shots. Chip in for birdie. That's always a nice feeling. Ooh, that was a touch of class. Wouldn't mind seeing that again. Yeah, this was a gift. Wasn't expecting this. She's our leader. And an opportunity awaits as they step onto this tee of the par three. In good form, Birdie at the last, looking to add on to that. Opting for the six iron. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Well, you like the look of those hands. Judging it beautifully. She's got this to save par here. Well, it's a great view on the leaderboard. Sitting in top spot, and Justin Thomas is second. Now it's time to take a look at this 13th hole. What's she facing with this shot, Henny? Setting up here from about 175 yards. Looks to be going with the six iron. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Will now move over to Xander Shoffley. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Opting for the five iron. This one's going right at the pin here. Uh, this player's dialed in. What a shot. Okay, time to return to the action. Getting ready to play their third. Didn't that look good for a long time? And Henny, what are they looking at here? She's looking at just over 12 foot here. Solid little par putt here. This one's tracking. That's well hold. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Setting up now on a par four. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 155. Well, a little off the target with that one. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Here we are with the third shot. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Can she make her par on this one? Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Yep, tracking nicely. There it is. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. Now, who would have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Trying to get back to even par with this part. It's tracking. So after that effort, this is the current standings on the course. Our current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. It's time for a one-shotter. She's feeling less club here. I have to say, I think that might be the right call.
This would be a great up and down. How close was that to going down? Well, that's an impressive little chip. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Nice little punt to hold that one. What a great feeling being that far ahead with just four to play. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. That's not what they hoped for on that. And just in the first cut here. Oh, what a shot by our leader. We'll now move over to Xander Schley. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, that always went down. And back to the play, shall we? Trying to move to 13 deep here with this part. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Lovely shot. Seven strokes up after that hole. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Well, Rich, don't know about you, but my eyes were wide open standing here on the 17th tee for Old Marina Golf Club. Every player is going to be salivating to get here. This could be the easiest hole by a long shot on this golf course. The fairway, massive, most generous fairway out here. Second shot. A little bit uphill, but let's face it, just 506 yards, slightly uphill. I promise you, every player in this field is thinking eagle and nothing but. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. Uh, who thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, how good is that? Buries it for birdie as well. It's almost like the golf ball had eyes and it went straight where it belongs, in the hole. Getting ready to play their third. Wow, that almost went in the hole. This putt just five feet away from the hole. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. Good looking putt. And that will drop in for a birdie. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Currently 14 under for the event. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. That's nicely done. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? She's looking at maybe 155 or so, I'd say, here. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. well played and with this part she can win the tournament this one has eyes for the hole well you've got to think their confidence is sky high now multiple to a winner well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look.
Rich, we saw from the get-go that this player was right on song this week. Just a class above. It's very rare where you see a player absolutely dominate a field like they did in this tournament. Unbelievable job all around. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.